What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my terrible channel. Guys, I have a special announcement. We have a special guest joining us for today's video. That is Max. He is back. Uh, Boyang is going to be doing some things this weekend and she won't be able to watch Max. So she asked me to watch him for this weekend. Isn't that great, buddy? Isn't that great? You get to be back in the videos. Isn't that great? He says that's great. Today we're going to be doing yet another true story animation review from Share My Story. Now we've been stressing out a lot about getting demonetized because a lot of these stories talk about some pretty uh, adult themed things. So I figured I'd play it safe and we would watch maybe a little bit more of a lighthearted uh, video today. Today we're going to be watching a snake bit off my penis. Yes, may Lord have mercy on my YouTube channel soul. At least there's no boobs in the thumbnail. Hey, I'm Benjamin, and even though I'm only 21 years old, I already know that I will stay a virgin for the rest of my life. Wow, that, that's a big assumption, Benjamin. When I was 21, I sure wasn't thinking about stuff like that. I, I was thinking about, hey man, is my major like going into my senior year? Is it, was this really a good choice? <laughs> yeah, I was questioning all my life choices at that point. Let me explain you why. A few years ago, I went on vacation to Thailand. My family and I had just checked into our hotel. When I decided to go to toilet, I mean, we had just been off a 10 hour flight and I was bursting. Okay, a few small things. It's pretty obvious that whoever's doing the voice acting is, you know, American. He's got an American accent. He speaks fluent and clear English. But at the very beginning, he said, let me explain you why. Let me explain you why. And then a few moments later, he says, when I decided to go to toilet. When I decided to go to toilet. Where are the articles, man? Where is the to and where is the the? Let me explain to you why. When I decided to go to toilet. When I decided to go to the toilet. Maybe this is why you're gonna stay a virgin. I mean, we had just been off a 10 hour flight and I was bursting. So I sat down on the toilet with my headphones on, listening We're to demonetized. music. We're demonetized. When I suddenly felt something pulling on my cucumber. My first <coughs> reflex was to jump up and look down. Did he just refer to his penis as a cucumber? Come on, Benjamin, just spit it out already. You already have the title labeled as a snake bit off my penis. What more could it hurt to just call it a penis? But hey, if he wants to call his penis a cucumber, fine by me. <laughs> yeah, I really should have peeled that first. I saw a big, long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber. Now, before I continue telling the story, please take a look at this image of a snake's mouth. Okay. It has dozens it. of sharp teeth that are hook-shaped, so they can hold on to their prey. They normally only eat mice, rats, or chipmunks. But my cucumber must have looked tasty or something, and once the snake had bitten into it... It didn't let go again. Now, the interesting thing about this story is that I actually Googled it to see if it was true. And fun fact, it is, sort of. So according to a Google search of snake bit off man's penis, yeah, to whichever CIA agent is monitoring my browsing history, just, just I hope you watch my videos too. Otherwise, this is gonna look really weird. But according to the results, there was actually a few different stories of men getting their penis bitten by snakes, and it did happen in Thailand. The only issue is that none of these stories are about a man named Benjamin in his 20s from America. Most of these are about locals getting their penis bitten by snakes. But the most important fact of all is that none of these men's cucumbers were actually bitten off. They were just bitten and a few of them had to get some stitches. So I don't know, maybe Benjamin kept quiet about this and, and uh, maybe didn't tell anybody. Well, <laughs> until now, guess we'll find out. I started screaming and ran out of the toilet with the snake still holding on to my cucumber. When I saw my mom, I screamed, ah, help me. But my mom just started screaming too and didn't scream? help at all. The interesting thing about these videos, which I just find adds to the humor of everything, is the voice actors are actually terrible actors. They are the worst voice actors you could imagine. Professional narrators, that's what they should call them. Me reading out my character's lines and the narrations in a lot of my older scary story videos, I, that's better voice acting than these professional voice actors. I mean, if you don't believe me, take it from Benjamin. Ah, help me! Now back to the story, Benjamin tries to get the snake off of his cucumber, but it's to no avail. The teeth's fangs are sunk in there way too tight, and even though he tries his hardest to pull the snake off, it unfortunately snaps his cucumber in half. I don't know if he was having a good time or what, but it snapped in half. 
Don't know how. Snake's only got four teeth. Like, legitimately, I don't know what the science is behind this, but yeah, bada bang, bada boom, right? Yeah, I had another one just for that. But first, I asked my mom to catch the snake and cut it open so that we could later sew my cucumber back together. Well, I hope it's not dissolved. Unfortunately, my mom was too scared and the snake escaped. Man, that sucks. All you had to do was catch it. Well, is it that hard to catch a snake roaming around with four-fifths of your son's cucumber? Is it that hard, mom? Sheesh. We all know who Parent of the Year Award's going to. Meanwhile, I found a taxi to get to a hospital, but the driver kept arguing how my blood was ruining his seats. I got so angry, I used my left arm to pull him out of his own taxi while holding my cucumber what? with my right hand. I had never driven a car before, but it wasn't that complicated. And after 20 minutes of driving, I had found a hospital. Uh, Max, do, are, are you buying this story? Yeah, I didn't think so. If Max isn't believing the story, that's how you know something's amok. When I ran into the lobby, I was covered in blood. Boy finds taxi. Taxi driver angry at blood from cucumber. Boy gets angry that taxi driver is angry from blood from cucumber. Boy then uses left arm to rip taxi driver out of taxi with right arm still holding cucumber. Boy then steals taxi and drives for the first time in his life for 20 minutes until he gets to a hospital. Hmm. When I ran into the lobby, I was covered in blood and screamed, help, help. Just imagine like walking in anywhere, holding your junk and there's blood everywhere. What are people thinking? Ooh. What are you thinking? Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. Come on, we are trying to stay monetized. Shame on you. Seriously, shame, shame on you. When the nurses saw me, they immediately brought me into the emergency room. I still hoped that they could somehow save my cucumber, but the doctors just kept on asking me whether it was a poisonous snake or not. How many times did he say cucumber? Somebody please keep count and write a comment down below and let me know how many times they said that in this entire video. Now back to Benjamin. The doctors take him in, they start doing emergency surgery, they work on him for like 20 hours, and by a miracle they are actually able to save his cucumber to a degree where he can pee semi-normally again. It's not made clear if he has to sit down and pee from now on or if he can stand up, I don't know. But most importantly, at this crucial time in Benjamin's life, the doctor explains that he'll never be able to make love with a woman, which I definitely think is important information to explain to your patient who just had 20 hours of surgery. You could have said, I wish you a speedy recovery, Benjamin. Now don't sit on any more snakes in Thailand. But no, you had to say you'll never be able to make love to a woman again. Or, well, I guess in your case, for the first time, because he said he's a virgin. And to make things worse, there were several TV crews outside my hospital room trying to interview the boy that How had lost his cucumber. Out? I mean, seriously? Do you think I want to tell the whole world that my cucumber was bitten off by a snake while sitting on a toilet? That's a good question, Benjamin. Let me get back to you after I finish watching this video which has uh, 4.2 million views. I'm really curious about how all these reporters found out about this guy whose snake was bitten off by a cucumber. Uh, reverse that, cucumber bitten off by a snake. Well, I guess mm, snake could also be a synonym for, Never mind. Get your head out of the gutter again. Seriously, I'm talking to you, stop that. Well, I guess when you see a guy covered in blood, holding his junk, run into a hospital, I, you know. On top of, uh, he did steal the one taxi driver's taxi, which, Definitely made sense. Well, when I finally arrived back in the US, my girlfriend was waiting for me at the airport. Hmm. And he has uh, a girlfriend. we were both raised strictly Catholic and still virgins. We had planned to have our first time after we got that. married, but now I had to tell her about my condition. We sat down at an ice cream cafe. I'm sure she won't mind. And I'm not joking, but she ordered herself a banana split. I waited until she was finished eating, and then I told her the news. I told her how I had lost my cucumber on my trip to Thailand. I expected her to feel sorry for me or something, but she just said she wanted to take a look at it in the bathroom. You have so much for being raised Catholic and a virgin. Well, when I showed it to her, she started laughing so hard that tears were running down her face. Oh my gosh. I have to admit that her reaction completely destroyed the little confidence that I had left. Well, maybe Benjamin, you shouldn't have explained to her that you're cucumber was bitten off and then proceeded to show her in the bathroom. By the way, did you go to the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom? 
I'm just curious. Now, Benjamin actually ends up thinking that everything's gonna be fine because his girlfriend said, oh, you know what, it's fine, yeah, I don't mind. Even after explaining that he'd never be able to get it on with her, at least in the conventional way. The next day, Benjamin asked her to hang out and she basically blew him off and she actually stopped responding to his messages, essentially ending their relationship. Now, this kind of sent Benjamin into a spiral of sadness and insecurity and he felt like any girl that he talked to would just judge him for his condition and he basically felt like a loser. Now this part, it sounds pretty true and pretty accurate and I think anybody would in this situation would respond the same way, especially if your, you know, your cucumber was is now gone. So I really can't fault Benjamin's reaction here. Now, you're probably thinking, there's gotta be a good ending, right? Like, what's gonna happen next? How is Benjamin gonna be okay? Well, we'll get there. First, we have to go through more uh, degrading and, and embarrassing uh, parts. No pun intended with parts, but... Never mind. But after six months, two guys came up to me at college. They were both laughing and asked me if a snake had really bitten off my cucumber. And I started blushing so hard that I basically admitted that it was true. It turns out that my ex got drunk at a college party and told everyone about my accident in Thailand. Well, so much for being raised Catholic and a virgin. The girl's out there partying and getting drunk with Sai. Party and told everyone about my accident in Thailand. And from then onwards, everyone at my college called me Miss P because I had a missing, well, you know what. For the next- You know, it'd be funny in the story if they called him Miss C instead of Miss P, you know, because C for cucumber. And then if you say it fast, it sounds like Missy, which would further add to the feminizing of him. And it, never mind. I'm telling you, they should have hired me to write this story. I, I could have done a way better job. And as the story goes on, Benjamin goes and focuses on college. He wants to get straight A's. He just wants to focus on getting his priorities set. He doesn't think about dating more girls until he meets Suzanne at a college party, and she would become his future girlfriend. Now, it takes him a few while, up to about five dates, before he finally breaks the news and explains to her that his cucumber was bitten off by a snake. And to his surprise, she just kind of giggled a little bit, she kind of laughed it off, and she was more or less okay with it. And Benjamin, in his own words, said that if lesbians can make it work, so can he. And I came to the conclusion that if lesbians make it work, that I can make it work too. And that is the end of the story. Guys, what did you think? Did you, was that, was that, um, was, it was entertaining, right? The most important thing is that it entertained you. Let's not focus on the, um, realities of it, okay? By the way, does anybody, uh, Anybody want a cucumber? I, I got, still got some left. I give this story a 4.5 out of five. Half a star more than what I gave the last story, mostly because despite realism aside, the story was very entertaining, very fun. The animations were actually pretty good. I like the memes, I like the dance references, but most importantly, it actually had closure and it actually had like a good, nice, firm, happy ending. That's the kind of ending you wanna kind of walk away with. It's not just like a random like what the funk moment and then that's the end of the video with like no closure, no catharsis at all. So I give it 4.5 out of five cucumbers. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, we will see you guys in the next video. Good night.